to Apple, which was probably my biggest winner of the week. You go to Apple, Apple is a great little tool to learn and make money and invest and do a lot of things. Why? Because for those people who weren't flexible, who weren't prepared, they probably missed a huge move. I try and simplify it. I was like, on Monday post event, they tried to sell it down a little bit. I'm like, in order to break out of this double top range, it's got to get above three things. One, above 197.30. Two, above 198.23. Three, above 199.62. And all of a sudden, boom, look at this move. <laughs> went to 207 on uh, Tuesday, yesterday, went as high as 220.20, which was one of the measured moves, and then came in a little bit. So either which way, I know for me, it was one of my biggest winners in a while. I had options. I rolled them up yesterday into the close on that pullback. I have a little stock, and now it's just going to have to probably sit and digest a little bit. But that was two big moves in Apple. So if you're an investor in Apple, congratulations. It may have changed your life in the last decade. If you're a trader of Apple, there are definitely times where it can make you a lot of money, and it worked out very well. I did not expect this to happen, but you never have to expect. You could just be on the right side of it and be pleasantly surprised. If you have two scenarios in your head, multiple plans, when it does trigger, if you execute with confidence, which is why we get up early and get planned, you can make good money.